heard from multiple people that it's really good. All I gotta do is disconnect this. You don't need a lot of storage. It's very good. We are dreamers of the twelve dollar. So Allison is the first sea turtle in the world. Michelle's specialty. Do you have reservations? Yeah. And then we'll see if it's still an eight or if it's La Playa Mexican restaurant, Mexican cafe, actually. Yeah. We've heard from multiple people that it's really good. Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> I said it first. This looks awesome. You ever felt drunk from eating too much? Seems like you can never have enough storage though. If you stop buying things or accumulating things, you don't need a lot of storage. Oh, you mean like clothes? Other things. Lots of things. In our packet when we checked in here at Sunshine RV Resort, we got this. Some fun things to do in the Rio Grande Valley. Here at Sunshine RV Resort, it's really weird. It's confusing at first because there's a one way getting out of here but then there's this, looks like a golf cart trail. Yeah. But the cars are supposed to use that to go the other direction. First night we were here, we were a little bit confused and we weren't sure if we should go down this little side road here. And then we saw people come out of the resort and go down. So we just followed. Now we're seeing everybody using it. Cause there's two parts to the resort. There's the main part that has a lot of homes and the other part that has a lot of the RVs in. And that's yeah. where we're at. So if you come here to the resort and you see that, it looks like it's for golf carts. Uh, don't worry, you are supposed to use it for your car to bypass that one lane road going the other way. Shall we go to South Padre Island? Yeah. Our first time to South Padre it's Island. It's going to be very windy. stop here in Port Isabel right before we cross the bridge to South Padre Island we were told about a place called Long Island Village for an RV resort and they have a lot of park models too told it was really nice we're gonna see if we can't get through here kind of show you around we're curious too On the horizon, gate started to come down. Scared the crap out of she me. She jumped and I hope it didn't. Hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. That's big. We are dreamers of the shore when we can't read the sky.
we stop here at the clubhouse, they let us in this far, you know. <laughs> Might as well see what, how far we can get. <laughs> we don't have the airstream behind us, and Michelle needs to use the restroom. It's like, well, let's go check out the clubhouse. Um, one thing is for sure, you don't have to feel ashamed of whatever RV you have to come here. We have seen everything from a Prevo to a camper It looked like it was built in the 60s. Yeah. Literally. To um, park models, to actual two and three level homes mm -hmm. on the canal, um, big homes, small homes, like little of everything here. Yeah. But nice area. Um, it would be nice to be able to check out all the amenities, but I'm guessing with COVID going on, they probably still don't have everything open. But right. Anyway, we at least get to see the bathroom. Maybe. We did ask, by the way, if we could come and take a look, and we were given permission to look. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't judge. Mm -hmm. Yummy's Bistro is a busy hopping place. Mm -hmm. We've got just a 30 minute wait, not too bad. And it's around lunchtime, almost noon. So they're gonna send us a text so we can go look at some of these shops while we're waiting. Yeah. They're supposed to have good pie too, right? They are? Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Oh. When you gotta wait and you get to go into shops, this is what happens. <laughs> you end up buying something. Now y'all don't have to see that uh, Magnolia had all the time. I'm so excited, I don't even know what to get. What do you think of the size of that, huh? Wow. Ooh, look at that. Yours looks good and too. My burger came with gluten free bread. Okay, so they had coconut cream here, which everybody knows that's my favorite. But um, this particular choice I went with is only available on the weekends. So it must be really good. And it is. Blueberry banana cream. It looks amazing. Oh, cheesecake. Not cream. <laughs> and it's very good. I don't believe you. Let me try it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is 
dangerous. So now we are going to Isla Blanca Park. Isla, Isla. Mm. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. That's right. There's supposed to be uh, some camping here, and it's supposed to be another good place to go besides the KOA. And they're just like within a mile from each other, really close to a mile. Um, it's a state park. You do have to pay to enter just to go through here. We tried once. <laughs> they wouldn't let us go through without paying, even though we were going to just cruise through and come back out. $12. $12. In fact, the guy... $12. $12 to get in here, just to get some pictures and video of the campground. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. to get out here and stop before we go through the RV park. There's a pirate ship off to the distance over here with this fog. Kind of really neat. Kind of a cool scene, seeing this line of people fishing, yeah. and then they extends all the way out this little jetty out here. want to drive through those two campgrounds. I don't know about you, but that's what we like to do. We like to see what they look like. If they're even aesthetically pleasing yeah. to stay at. But of course, you know, you can go online and you can get all the information you want right online. That but, KOA, they were really cramped in there though. Yeah, did you notice that? A lot of those sites were pretty cramped in the KOA. It did have that pier right there and Kind of a fun atmosphere. Looks like they got some music going on up here, live music. guys 140 pounds Sea Turtle Inc is a nonprofit organization with a mission to rescue, rehabilitate and release injured sea turtles, educate the public and assist with conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. Once she was a post-hatchling, 
so small when mm -hmm. she was tiny. She had washed up on shore and we could tell that she was attacked by a predator and the predator took three of her four flippers. Oh. So when we brought her in, we weren't sure exactly what to do, right? And so um, eventually someone had come up with the idea of the prosthesis. So Allison is the first sea turtle in the world to successfully wear a prosthetic. Wow. Cool. Okay. And those are the different prosthesis she's worn throughout her life. Okay. Um, and then there's even a picture of her when we brought her here. So how long of ago? How, of how small she really was. And she's that big now. She's 140 pounds now. When she came, with, when she came here, she was literally, wow. Look at this one. His name's Fred. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. I'd say that was kind of neat. Was Six dollars was wasn't too bad, even though we didn't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. We only had 30 minutes that we could spend in there since they were closing. It'd be well, well worth it um, with the presentations, I think. They patrol, mm -hmm. was it 50 or 80 miles? 50 miles. 50 miles of the, the beach. They patrol themselves. Mm -hmm. People will call in, of course, and uh, captains of some of the boats, mm -hmm. they look for it too, and mm -hmm. they'll let them know. It really, I don't know, it just made you feel good that yeah. there's organizations out there that look after wildlife. The wildlife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. go try to find a sunset at Laguna Bob's. <laughs> we did a little online review to find out where we could see a sunset. So we decided to come down here to Laguna Bob's because the restaurant at Pier 19 where the KOA is had too long of a wait. Yeah. It was an hour and 20 minutes when we were there, and then we couldn't decide if we are going to go somewhere else. And, oh, let's call and see how long it is now, an hour and 30 minutes. So here we are at Laguna Bob's. <laughs> this is day one of South Padre Island. And, uh, kind of a dreary day. Hopefully yeah. we'll have some better days. Oh, I hope so, too. At least we don't have to rush to do a lot, like, you know, over yeah. the weekend, because we're in the area for a while, so. Yeah, some live entertainment is going to start at some point here. I think they said 7 o'clock. Here's our stuff. All right. Our food's here. at her. She's got her gloves on. She's ready to work. Cheesecake. We're 
the Longhorn Cattle Company. It was recommended by a local here. And uh, we're going to try this out for some good barbecue. And the desserts look amazing. Just saying. So they give you big things of water. It looks like some it's beans. Pinto bean soup. Pinto bean soup. What so, else? That pecan pie that was up there yeah. is Bourbon Street pecan pie. Yeah. We just wanted to show you what the food looks like, and we got the sliced brisket. Um, I got the one meat option. It um, comes with potato salad and coleslaw. And Brian got two meats, which he wanted just double brisket and double coleslaw. Done? That's it. Is that it? I don't know about you, but we like to know what the food looks like. It's good to see what it looks like too. I don't know. Hearsay never seems to be accurate. Would you agree? Sorry, no pie, but there's cheesecake, turtle cheesecake. And it looks delicious. Giving it a rating? At least nine. What? That's fun. Two places now since we've been here. The Mexican restaurant, La Playa Mexican, and this Longhorn Mexican place, La Playa, is definitely awesome. That is two uh, thumbs up. And this is Longhorn Cattle Company Barbecue and Steakhouse. And it's just right down the street, like a mile not even a mile from uh, Fun and Sun, the Encore Resort. We just got there today. In San Benito. Portions and overall experience of the food, how good the food was and everything is definitely yeah. uh, worth coming here. The, the price was decent mm -hmm. um, and the food was good. Mm -hmm. Turtle cheesecake was amazing. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Because um, these guys are wanting to go. Oh. Just good. Uh, the service was great. Service was great. Right. They were busy. Let's go to our rating. Okay. Out of 10, I give this place, it's really close between a 7.5 to an 8. I, I give it a solid 8. Solid 8. We'll yeah. go with that. Yep. There you have it. Maybe even 8.5. <laughs> I don't know. We have to go. For the love of Pete. <laughs> we'll come back and then we'll see if it's still an 8 or if it's. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week. <laughs>